Okay, so a little while ago, we were outside in the garden, and we picked some female and male zucchini flowers. If you remember, the females had the little squash on the back. We popped them off, left the squash to grow, and the male has the stem with no zucchini attached to it. So we gently wiped off any little dirt that was on them, and then we went inside and we pulled out, if you remember, the little stain <coughs> inside each flower. And you want to do it gently because you really don't want to destroy the flower. But it's okay to open it up because I find it lets the breadcrumbs get in there. And that's where the goodness is. So, a couple more to go here. They're pretty quick. And you get better at this the more you do it. So don't be discouraged if you tear them the first couple of times. It's not, really not that big of a deal. Now I have here, I already prepared, a little egg wash. Simple egg wash, just like when you make like chicken cutlets or something like that. So you want to gently put your flowers in here. And you don't want to beat them with that fork. You just want to kind of mix them around. And I have a little little seven-year-old filming me, so that's why you can't see inside the bowl. But that's okay, he's doing a great job back there. Okay, now over here I have a very simple mixture of cornmeal with Parmesan cheese, a little bit of oregano, tiny, tiny bit of garlic powder, and I toss it all together here. This is the first coating. So I'm going to take my zucchini flowers. Okay, they've got a good amount of egg wash on them. Let them drip off. Pop them in the flour. Now I'm doing this with one plate for a reason, because mommy will get really upset if I use up lots of plates tonight. And I've learned to do things with limited plates, which means limited cleanup. So I'm dusting them with flour. Okay, and it's very important you want to get a good coating on each flower. Okay, make sure you're filming over here too, but down by my hands so that everybody can see. Now, once you get your cornmeal mixture on here, oh, almost forgot these two guys. You want to make sure you save your egg because you're going to do a double dunk, as we like to say. Right, Michael? Right, Michael? Yes. Double dunk? Mm -hmm. Okay, whoop, we are going to vacuum, because God knows I'm not the cleanest, neatest cook. I'm clean. I shouldn't say that, but I'm not the neatest cook in the world. Okay, now what we do is on the other side of this plate, put some panko. Why panko? Because I like panko sometimes when it's a little crispier, and I really like Ian's panko, because they're lower in salt. And I want to give them another dunk in the egg wash. And then we're going to drop them in the panko. Now we're going to cook up the rest of these off camera. But I'm going to show you, I have oil over here, if you look over here, heating up. So I'm going to show you a little test to make sure that that oil is hot enough. Because if it's not hot enough, boy oh boy, will these not come out good. And what I like to do with the panko, you really want to have a decent amount of panko on these. Although you can do it just with the cornmeal, and that would be just fine. But I like to put some more on top. You want to make sure it's all good to go there. So now if you take a little bit of like the stuff off the plate, the panko with the bag, and you just drop it in the oil, can you get close to this and just see that it's sizzling up? And that means you're ready to go. So now what we're going to do, okay, over here, don't do that. You'll get burned. Show, watch Daddy. Over here, you're going to take your zucchini flour, okay, and you're going to... Place them in the oil. And you want to work kind of quickly, but not too many at once, because if you cool off the oil, they get soggy. The key here, and we're cooking indoors, so I like to use this as a flour bar. And be very careful. You want to have enough oil in there so that everything gets coated and, um, and, and it's deep enough to actually fry them. So what we're doing is we're going to cook them for two minutes, okay? And then we're going to flip them, cook them for another two minutes, pull them out. A little sprinkle of Parmesan cheese on top, and we are good to go. And you gotta eat them while they are hot. Right, Michael? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, getting ready to flip. Now, these are extremely hot. Tongs. Almost two minutes. Got the Parmesan cheese standing by in the bowl. Try to hold still on your film, okay, buddy? Yeah, everybody gets seasick. All right. So now we're going to flip them over. Oh, baby. These are calling our name. And what we say in our house when they're getting ready, to make sure everybody's ready to eat these while they're hot, 
Giovanna, Mommy, a toddler. We stole that from Lydia. Make sure you're filming. Look at the camera. Okay. Now, it's also helpful to do like a paper bag or if you don't have any paper bags in there, you want to have a uh, nice paper towel. Get that ready. And this way you can put your nice hot food on there. Soak up some of the excess oil because there's no reason to eat all the extra oil. You know, you, the oil is necessary, but not too much oil. These are also really good if you can do it right, baked after they've been stuffed with different kinds of cheese, like cobita or fontina cheese, a good melting cheese. All right, so these babies are, are really getting crispy, okay, and the oil is nice and hot, and that's key. And I use uh, either peanut, peanut oil or canola oil. Tonight we did canola oil. It gets nice and hot. Peanut oil is the best. <coughs> Put a little bit of sesame oil sometimes for a different flavor. And what we're going to do here is take them out and plop them on here. Giovanna, a tavola. Go sit down at the table, babe. Put the last two in. And we say a little bit of cheese. And this took all of like seven minutes, I think. Okay, not a big deal. All right, and to that, we say manja. Thank you. Bye.